Hello, everyone, and welcome to a day in my life on Dogwood Ranch. Today, I'm going to kind of just show you a little bit of my daily routine here on the ranch, all the different chores and things I have to do. It consists of normal stuff, you know, like taking the dogs out, feeding the horses, grooming, exercising. Excuse me, bruiser. That's extremely rude. I am trying to film an introduction right now. So those of you that aren't on the server, um, I adopted Bruiser from the dog show. I fell in love with him. And as you can see, he is very nosy. <laughs> he likes to eat constantly. So that's his problem right now. He's hungry. He wants breakfast. So anyway, where was I? Yes, I'm going to show you some of my daily routine. I'm going to work with Gus today and Meadow and um, just kind of show you some of the new things that have been going on. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I'd absolutely love to have you. I also have my Discord linked down in the description below. We would love to have more people join. We've got quite the community built. Also, you can still join the Minecraft server. We're taking new people all the time. One more thing before we jump into the video. I had a subscriber named Piper. It's a longer name than that, but um, I'm just gonna say Piper. And unfortunately, they let me know that their friend died suddenly and um, they asked if I could please name my next stallion after him. So at the horse market, I found this horse. And for those of you that have been following me since my first swim video ever, this coat was the first horse I ever spawned. So I thought he would be absolutely perfect to take your friend's name and commemorate him in that way. So we're gonna go ahead and give him that name right now. And he's going to continue to live his life here forever. And that very special name is Riddick, which is an incredible name, by the way. So this very special horse is going to keep this very special name. And I am so extremely sorry for your loss. Um, I hope that this brings you some comfort and know that every time I see him in the field, I will think of your friend. All right, let's get started with my day. So, yes, Bruiser, I see you want to go outside. <laughs> You're very, very impatient. Can you just chill? So first things first, I start my day off, like most people, in the shower, brushing my teeth and stuff like that. And you don't need to see that. So I'm naturally going to just get this done, and I'll be right back with you in just a second. All right, I'm nice and clean and fresh and ready for the day. So let's go downstairs and feed this dang dog because man, he just will not stop. All right, and of course I don't know where Archie is. I never know where Archie is. She's like an escape artist or something. So come on dogs, let's get you your food first. And I just realized something. I don't have a food bowl for a bruiser yet. <laughs> oh, I'm horrible. Okay, we're gonna divvy out their steaks evenly. They love themselves some steak. They eat better than I do. There's an extra food bowl for you. I'm gonna go ahead and fill these up. Yep, already eating, I can see. There, maybe you'll leave me alone just for a second. Okay, the next pet I need to feed is my poor little bunny. And I keep his food dish up here. And I'm sure he's starving too. I'm coming, lion. Give you your food. He's just always bouncing in that corner. <laughs> Let me just punch out the wall real quick. <laughs> there you go. Your nice kibbles. We'll put this food dish back. So before I make my own breakfast, I'm gonna go out and collect the fresh eggs from my chickens. I love my chickens so much, you guys. Oh yeah, I also have these two dogs because someone that was on my server left them at the horse market all alone. And one of them was actually buried. It was really sad, so I brought them here. Hoping they'll be claimed. Might take them to the rescue soon. But here's my chickens, and that's my favorite one right there, and I'll introduce you in just a second. These chickens eat so much hay. It's ridiculous. I go through so much hay with them. And Bruiser, you know you're not allowed in there. Can you please mind your business? Okay, and of course they're completely out. I'm telling you, they eat so much. And who are you? Why do I have unnamed chickens in here? That's Eric, and I named him that because his comb is split like a 90s haircut. <laughs> so it reminds me of Eric from Boy Meets World. A lot of you are probably way too young to know what I'm talking about, but that's okay. Let's lay down all this hay. And I'll lay all this out, and it will be 
almost completely gone by the end of the day. It's insane. Okay, um, excuse me. Eric, need to move. Move your little chicken butt. Thank you. Look, already started. Oh my goodness, okay. So let's go back to the front side of the coop so I can show you my other precious chickens after I put these back. So this is Hat Chicken and Rockstar. Rockstar is my favorite. Look how cool he is. And then there's a story behind Hat Chicken OG and then Hat Chicken. <laughs> it was a really interesting chain of events. I had to have one of my subscribers come and actually help me find Hat Chicken because he had escaped. So then I got a new one and named it Hat Chicken, but then I found my original one. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, chicken. <laughs> All right, anyway, I was babbling. So now that we've collected our fresh eggs, we're gonna make some breakfast. And is that a chicken? Oh my gosh, why is there a chick in my house? I don't know why that happened. I'll have to put them in the coop in a bit, okay. Anyway, so unfortunately with these uh, farmer's craft or farmer's something mod, I can't cook those other chicken eggs. It has to be the vanilla eggs. So I kind of just replace those eggs with the vanilla ones, eh, you know. So let's grab some bacon or some pork, I should say, and create some bacon. And this is so satisfying. Isn't that cool? I just made bacon <laughs> and we get to actually cook it. Look at this. I love this so much. It makes my day. And now we're gonna fry some eggs. So we're gonna grab our skillet and hold it over the stove just like this. And we're cooking some eggs. Isn't this so much fun? I love this for the role play aspect. It's so enjoyable. And you can fry the eggs like how it's laying right there, but it takes like three times or four times as long to cook. So the skillet makes it a lot faster. Okay, so we can put our skillet back and we need a bowl. And this is how we're going to create our plate of bacon and eggs. So two eggs there, two bacons there, and bam, we've got a delicious plate of eggs and bacon. Now I'm gonna make a kiwi smoothie because it's delicious. And we'll go ahead and grab that. Okay, let's go sit and eat some breakfast. Need to be strong for this, the days of it. Excuse me, Evie. You have your own food. Don't get on the table. These animals have no manners. This is so good. Oh, it's so delicious. Yummy, yummy. Okay, that gave me a, quite the perk up. <laughs> I think I'm ready to take on the day now. So let's go see the horses. I know that's why everyone's actually here. It's not really for me. Hello, Gus. How you doing today, buddy? And Meadow. These are the two I'm gonna work with today. Of course, we need to muck out everyone's stalls, make sure they're fed, clean water. So we'll take out our tools here and grab some delicious hay for them. And I'm gonna need 12 half bales, cause two for each horse. All right. Oh, and of course we need to grab some water for the water bucket. Okay, we're ready to go and visit all the horses. Hi Magic, how was your night buddy? How you doing? Let's clean up this nasty pee here. And oh, I forgot to grab some shavings. I'll have to go back for some in just a second. Let's look out here. Oh yeah, and Magic has a pet goat now. I don't know how that happened, but it's been hanging out in here for weeks. So whatever, he seems to enjoy the company. It doesn't bother me any. Let's grab these shavings and fill that in. Okay, Magic is all ready to go. Next we have Venture, Miss Venture. Hey, pretty girl. Oh, your pen is a little bit messier. There we go. Get you all cleaned up. Hey, girl. Venture has been doing so fantastic. As you can see, she's jump five now. She is definitely my best show jumper. She, I love riding her and show jumping. It's so much fun. Okay, and Domino. Hello, Domino. I've been building a cross country course to do with Domino, but I've been so busy, I haven't been able to really finish it, which is disappointing because it's really neat so far. I made some really good progress. There you go. Let's take off these pasture blankets as well. Hi, Meadow. Her training's been going so fantastic with barrel racing. She's definitely my barrel girl. And Gus. Hi, Gus, my ranch boy. We're gonna be working him on the cart a little bit today. Get you nice and fed. And his pen is really clean and there is a duck. Yes, you're gonna eat next, just chill. 
okay? Oh, these animals are so pushy. It's like they all want to be fed first. I can't possibly feed you all first. This is my boarder. I actually have Breezy's horse here looking after her because Breezy has been not able to log on and take care of her. So I'm just boarding her hair for her for a while. Oh yeah, and this is my cow grandma. That's a whole nother story too. <laughs> I need to start posting these stories somewhere because the events that happen on this server are just so funny. And now we get to feed the ducks. Oh yeah, I redid my bridge. I actually had help from someone on the server, Alina. She did a great job helping me with it. Isn't it so gorgeous? I mean, look at it. And this was inspired by a design by Coco and Anna, who are also friends on my server. Hello, duckies. Come and eat. Come on. Aw. Wait, you already got some food. Back up. Come here. Gotta get a little bit closer. There we go. You know what I'm thinking? This spot needs a bench. It'd be a perfect spot to sit and feed the ducks. There we go, just like this. And look at this beautiful view of the bridge too. The reflection is so nice. This is so relaxing. And man, they are at attention. <laughs> I have more ducks on this side of the pond. Let's see if we can find them. I think I released like five in total. I'm not quite sure. Well, there we go, there's a couple. And oh, there's one more over here. And okay, the ducks have been multiplying. <laughs> I mean, I was warned that they would breed, but I thought I only released boys. I don't know, I must be wrong. Oh, and this one's now sitting on a nest. Okay, we're gonna have a really bad duck infestation really soon if I don't take care of this. <laughs> Might be taking a duck to the rescue today. All right, time for some barrel racing. This is so much fun. Meadow is so fast. She still gets really excited out the box though. She just kind of goes nuts. We're trying to get better at that. Um, just with more time, she'll chill out. But I'll show you what I mean. And before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and let Magic out. It's been a bit since he's been out in the paddock. And of course he goes straight to eating. Doesn't surprise me. He's the lazy bones. He just likes to stand around and eat. All right, got my color coordinated helmet on. Really? Really, Meadow? I leave for a couple minutes and you climb the hay. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go to the arena. Yep, she's already perking up. She knows what's coming. Okay, um, dogs, you might want to watch out. You know that Meadow tends to get overly excited and I don't want you getting hurt. So just sit there. Evie, that's a really bad spot. But if you're not going to move, then just stay over there. Okay, Meadow. Chill. Let's do it. That doesn't surprise me. Okay, there we go. Oh, kind of a wide turn. Wide again. Okay. That was not bad. Not bad for our first run of the day. Got to get tighter on those corners, but overall, she did pretty well. Didn't buck, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> That's always an improvement. Let's go ahead and try another run. And, oh, oh, Evie. Oh my gosh. I knew that was a bad spot. I should have moved her. Oh, Meadow. <sighs> Thought we could go a day without it. Are you okay, Evie? Oh, it's okay. Come here. Let's get you out of the way. Stay there. Oh my gosh. It could have been a lot worse. Okay, Meadow. No bucking this time, eh? Let's go. Nice, good girl. Whoop, a uh, terrible turn trying to take the side view there. Oh, and there's the buck. <laughs> Couldn't have a clean run. <laughs> All right, good girl. I'm gonna get this eventually. We'll do a couple more runs. Those last two runs were very, very good. No bucking, no rearing. 
So I went ahead and took her out, cooled her off kind of outside. And now we're going to put her in the paddock with magic. You did good today, Meadow. I'm proud of you. Good girl. We ended on a very good note, which is always a good thing. Okay, Mr. Gus. Oh my gosh, now there's two ducks in here. <laughs> we definitely have a problem. Ugh. All right. So let's get you hitched up here. We have had some practice, like I said, but not with the harness. Still just with the saddle. So let's back you up. There we go. Good job, Gus. Good boy. Oh, it looks like we have a visitor. Okay, let me check and make sure. Hello, Tina. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Okay, so apparently you can only fit one duck in this whole thing. That would take forever to run it back and forth, but that's okay. I mean, Gus needs the practice, and I kind of want to show you some of the new scenery anyways. I just love this bridge. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. It added so much, so much of a pretty aesthetic to my ranch. I'm so glad with it. So here's Breezy's house. And look across the street now. This is the kind of things that my subscribers have been building. It's incredible. They're so amazingly talented. It's so much fun logging on and seeing new builds everywhere. I absolutely love the creativity. And whoa, I don't know where that goes to. I gotta check that out at some point. There's so many new trails and fun things and apparently someone had to leave. <laughs> I just kind of tied their horse there. Whoops. Oh wow, there's a cow party happening at the rescue. This is interesting. <laughs> Hello cows and Chevy over there. Okay, so let's get our duck out. Come on, ducky. You're gonna go live at the rescue. Unfortunately, Anna's not here, so I'm just gonna leave him here. And um, good luck. Have a nice life, ducky. <laughs> She'll be here soon, I'm sure. Okay, time to head back home. I think we can take a canter with this cart. Okay. Goodbye, horse. Yep, cart's good. Oh, another visitor. Bye, Nug. Hi, Nug. Bye, Nug. <laughs> oh, we got another one. Excuse me. Hi, Bobo. Oh my gosh, Bobo's builds are so phenomenal. I gotta just do a tour at some point. I'm so impressed. <laughs> okay, got your cart off. I think I'm gonna work a little bit with the, the harness now. So let's put these on you. I know you're not super accustomed to it. But this is definitely more of the ideal setup for the cart. So we'll just do a little bit of work before we call it a day. All right, you ready, Gus? Let's go ahead and go. Oh, yeah, this looks a lot better. I really like the straps. Good boy. He doesn't seem to mind it. I mean, he's a really chill horse. Everything I've introduced him to so far, he's been really good about. So he's kind of my go-to for chores and anything ranch related. Yep, I think he's going to do just fine. My supply pony, huh, Gus? All right. Good boy. There we go. Have a nice, relaxing evening. And I'm going to bring in Magic and Venture. Hopefully they had a nice day out together. Come on, Magic. And come... Or not Venture. Meadow. Venture's your mama. Take off their rugs here. Here we go. Got your nice dinner in there to eat. Good boy. Okay, now I gotta make myself some dinner because I am starving. I didn't even have lunch. I've been so busy all day. <sighs> it's like time goes so quickly. There's just too much to do. I think for dinner, I'm gonna have some chicken strips. It sounds pretty good. So we need to cut up this chicken. There we go. We'll throw that on the grill real quick. Nice. And to drink, instead of the kiwi, I'll have some apple juice. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> I hear a duck very loudly. <laughs> I don't know where it's at, though. All right, there's my apple juice. Oh, my chicken's ready. So now I can go sit and eat. I'm so famished. 
Where is that duck? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Of course my helmet. So that was a day in the life of JD on Dogwood Ranch. I really hope that you guys enjoyed kind of a sneak peek into it. I had a lot of fun showing you. Um, I want to show you around some more. Like I said, show you the builds people have done. They're so amazingly talented. And I just realized I forgot to show you my Christmas decorations. So if you saw them, well, they're pretty cool, huh? <laughs> also, if you'd like to support the channel, I do have my coffee linked down in the description for special perks. Thank you guys again for watching. Until next time. Bye.